Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asia Mullins. Today, as you can tell, we are doing a Freddy Krueger look. <laughs> yes, so we're doing a Freddy Krueger look. I know it's a little different. I got a black hat, he had a brown hat. I have a black shirt on, he had a Christmas, Christmas sweater on. So yeah, I wanted to change it up a little bit and give my little, own little twist on it, whatever. But if you want to see how I did this video, continue to watch. And I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills collaboration palette with Jackie Hina. And I'm going to use the shades Ginger and Edges as my transition shade. Now, before like I start doing anything else, well, while I'm doing everything else, like trying to get myself situated, all the products that I use in this video are going to be in the description box along with the links provided to buy the products that I use. Now, well first I gotta put my scotch tape on because I just love the way that it makes the eyeshadows look. It's very nice and it's very crisp. But anyway, back to what I was saying beforehand. I, um, like... I, I feel like you guys already know like where to get the Jane Shaw's palette, where to get the, um... Like the basic stuff, like the Jane Charles palette comes from Morphe, Anastasia Beverly Hills Tom Jackiana comes from Sephora, but I still think it'll be common courtesy to put. Yeah, I'm just gonna put the links down for you guys so that you can find everything that I use for this palette for this look. And also, I'm gonna apologize for hearing the cars outside. My window is closed and surprisingly you can still hear the cars but I just wanted to inform you guys that anyway so hopefully that's not a distraction. So right here I'm using the Maybelline Master Kajal Eyeliner and I'm going to put that over my eye, on my lid whenever this focuses. Thank you. So now I'm going to put that on my eyelid and after that I'm going to use the Jane Charles palette in the shade Spooky. I'm going to use that black to set this down. So now I'm using the e.l.f. eyeshadow shimmer and I have to say like I love this product. This was my first time using it. I saw it at Target and I was like hey yeah. like I see these like on my Instagram. I wanted to try it and like you cannot deny like that quality is amazing. So the lashes that I'm using is from this company called Melanin with a lash with a splash. Yeah, Melanin with the lash, and I have to say, like, I love these lashes, like, they are everything. 
and I'm gonna tag her um, Instagram in the dis. I'm gonna put her Instagram in the description box so that you guys can go check out her work. And the primer that I'm using today is Yes to Cucumber, and I have to say, like it, very good primer. So after I do all that, then I'm put using my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, the matte poreless, and I'm in the shade three five six. Not to say this foundation is everything. Like I'm always using this foundation because it just leaves my skin looking so flawless. Like. Uh, you can't like for me I can't ask for a better foundation I mean there are other foundations that I like to use but I really like this one it's affordable and it does its job So I also have to say this is my first um, Halloween look that I've ever did and I have to say like I really enjoyed doing this. <laughs> so now I'm going to use the Elmer's glue, the purple one that dries down clear and I'm going to take a spoolie and I'm going to like brush the glue through each and every, well I don't have that many but each and every hair on my eyebrow. So now I'm using the paint, the paint brushes, well the paint, with the paint brush that came with it. And I have to say like this thing, the paint looks so red, but uh, gotta brush those BDBs and comb them. Like I have 4C hair and I kid you not, like every time I brush and comb, brush and comb, it'll still curl right back up. So whatever, but the paint. It is very red and it's a good shade of red like on camera it looks so red but in real like in person it didn't look that red and if you want to tone it down a little bit use the white to calm it down don't use a lot of white use a little bit of white because we use a lot of white it's just gonna turn your face pink And this is me saying, it's so red, it's so red. <laughs> Excuse me. So now I'm using the lid to the um, paint to pour the liquid latex in. And okay, focus. And I'm going. Excuse me. I'm going to use a cosmetic sponge. And oh, by the way, let me tell you guys, that stuff stinks. Like, whew. And another thing, be cautious when you put this stuff around your eye because when I was put, when I was applying it around my eye, I felt a little tingle. In my eye, I didn't get it in, but it was like very tingly. So, this is a cosmetic sponge that I use. I use the butt of it, like the thick end of it. And I'm just gonna apply that. Like, I'm working in layers, so I'm just gonna apply the first layer and I'm gonna apply that around my face.
Oh, so I, oh, while I was waiting for that to dry down, I contoured my face. Like I'm, like I said before, I'm working in layers. So I contoured my face with the Wonder Beauty contour. And now I'm taking the coffee grinds and I'm dumping the sponge into the latex and then I put I dumped the um, sponge in the coffee grinds and the reason why I did that is because it adds effects to the look and as you can see right there I feel like I had too much coffee too many coffee grinds on the sponge but don't worry it like it's not going to be perfect I'm gonna tell you that right now like that's the thing about like these Halloween, like this Halloween look, this particular one, it doesn't have to be perfect at all. Like, it, I just loved it. <laughs> So now while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm using my Physician Formula um, Highlighter in the shade Rose Gold and I'm putting that above my cheekbone and I'm going to put that in like right underneath my eyebrow. So, like I said, I'm putting another layer on above the coffee grinds because I want layers. <laughs> and so now I'm just like, I feel the glue drying down. And oh my gosh, like it makes your skin feel so tight. But so smooth. <laughs> so now I'm like pulling the glue so that I can see like where I want my burn holes, I guess. The burn marks, the burn holes. I want to see like where I'm going to put them at. And then I'm using my eyebrow razor to cut the holes. And that's another thing about this look like the holes could be anywhere they could be any size they don't have to be perfect or anything so have fun doing this look like I know I did so just have fun doing this look it doesn't have to be perfect just have fun So now I'm going to take my foundation again and I'm going to use my finger to apply the foundation where I want it to be 
I wanted to do this first because my fingers are smaller than a um, sponge. But then I'm going to take the sponge and I'm going to um, like spread out the foundation better, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm going to spread it out more so that, um, and then also so that I could suck up the excess um, foundation. And I'm putting my finger underneath the glue so that I could add definite, like, get some depth so that when I start applying the red shadow, the red eyeshadow, like, I could put it, like, under the skin so it doesn't look like it's just, like, sitting right there. And for the red shadow, I use the Ulta Beauty Black Widow palette in the shade Power. And I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to fill that in. So now I'm taking that contour shade that I used before and I'm going to add a definition. Now what I do with the contour shade is I try to go in like different areas. Like one area I may go like underneath the glue on the right side then the next one may be up like the upmost part of the hole. And then I also added the contour shade around the scars so that it could have like a little bit more definition. And right here, I figured like I could add another hole, but then I realized like it's too close to my nose. So I just like pinched up the skin. Like I pulled up the skin and I pinched it and I kind of like twisted it down. Like I realized that I couldn't really add a hole because then I was lifting it up. Cut a little bit, but no. Then I realized I already had a hole right there. So I had to fix that. <laughs> So yeah, I'm checking over my work and I'm adding the extra, like, the extra, like, colors or the extra, um, contour to make sure, like, I like the end result. So now this is it for my voiceover and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, so the only thing that I added was the Maybelline Jet Black Pitch Black Lipstick. And then I used that e.l.f. shadow that I used before. Love it. Put it on my finger, put it in the middle, and... Would you focus, please? Yeah, so... I used the Maybelline lipstick and then I used the e.l.f. shadow to put on my lips and I just like, that's it. 
So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I have to say like these, the Halloween looks are amazing. Now I see why people do them every year. Expect for me to do some more next year and I'm going to be looking up some more scary creatures to be doing next year. I know this is the only one I did on YouTube, but I was just going to do it on Instagram and hopefully just enjoy it through that. Because doing the video is very, like, very, ugh. Like, it just, <laughs> So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.